What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how you can utilize a 301 redirect. Now 301 redirects are normally used when there's a website or there's a page on your website that has been deleted and it has a bunch of links being pointed back to it and you want to keep that equity uh, from that page. So normally what you would want to do is redirect that URL to a relevant URL on your website. Another use case of a 301 redirect is if a page is deleted but it's being indexed on Google and you want you don't want people going to a 404 page, then you would want to again redirect it to the most relevant page on your website. So I'm going to show you how to do this manually in the HT access file and I'm just going to walk you through it step by step. So if you're using a Apache server, which you most likely are, if you're using like HostGator or maybe you're using SiteGround like I am or Green Geeks, this is going to apply to all of those websites. So what you want to do is go and locate your file manager in the cPanel. After you find your, C your uh, file manager, what you want to do is click on this drop down for public HTML. And then you will see something called an HT access file. This is what you want to make the changes to, and this is what you want to edit. But before making changes to this, I highly advise to make an additional copy of this and store it somewhere else so that if something messes up, you can definitely uh, pull it back in there. It's very important to have a backup whenever you're doing any changes to the HT access file, because if you don't, you can destroy your website. So this is how you would go about doing that. You're going to sit here. You're going to go here, you're going to copy it, then you're going to paste it into another folder, right? Then you, what you want to do after you paste it into this folder is rename it, and you could just call it like, you know, backup. Okay? After you rename it, you can pull it back into this WMP, WP uh, includes folder. And you should be good to go. See? All right. Now you have your backup. Now, once you have your backup, what you want to do is you want to click on the HT access file. You could, you know, revert this back to how it was. Click on the HT access file and then click edit. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to literally just type redirect 301. Then you're gonna find the page that you want to redirect. So let's say I want to redirect the contact page to the home page, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take this, right? And I'm gonna paste that in there. Okay? And then I'm just gonna do this because this is for the home page. This just uh backslash uh represents the home page. But if you was doing this with another page, you just come in here and like you know find this one. And literally just add this right after that okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this save and now if we click on it it should redirect to the home page as you can see it's redirecting to the home page so that's it it's very simple that's how you set up a 301 redirect manually um, and I recommend doing it this way because you don't want to have a bunch of plugins on your website plugins can, can slow down your website um, but if you do want to know how to do it with a plugin, then all you need to do is just download like a plugin. Let's just go to plugins real quick. Add plugin. Go 301. Redirect. There's many plugins in here. There's one called Redirection. Um, this one is pretty good. Um, and this one. This is the one that I would normally use. But I'm going to just show you Redirection real quick. You install redirection, you activate this, and then once you activate redirection, you go to settings, okay, and it shows you exactly how to use the plugin. It gives you the instructions that, the instructions that you need, you just click start setup, uh, you go to continue setup, finish setup, finished, right, and then what you're going to see is... Um, you should see some type of way to see. Oh, right here. Go to redirects. Then once you go to redirects, click on add new. And then you can add the URL that you want to redirect from. And then add the URL that you want to redirect to. And then you can do it that way as well. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.